Hey everybody, Jeff Helvin here with Balan Brands and today I want to show you how to set up a simple lead capture campaign when we use a third-party tool such as Optin Monster. So basically what we have here is on a website we're able to do the slide in, something that slides in from the side or maybe a pop-up on the screen. Um, obviously for a while pop-ups became kind of the, the devil. They were, they were very they were used very improperly and caused a lot of uh, you know static and and people really didn't like them and at the end of the day pop-ups are still annoying especially if they're not actually relevant to the audience so we want to use something a little more specific which is why we like opt-in monster so just to kind of show you how this works I'm gonna go ahead and click on create a new campaign and then we can choose what type of campaign that we want to do um, now opt-in monster does have a few different options as far as their uh, subscription levels so of course you know depending on your subscription level might depend on what you can do here but we're gonna go ahead and just stick to a simple pop-up in order to uh, walk through that process so first you're selecting a campaign then we're gonna choose an actual campaign template so we have lots of different options here on what we can use and I'm just gonna use really any one of them at random so we're gonna name the campaign test campaign and we want this one to go on the Balan Brands website so we're going to click on start building. So what this does is takes us now into an actual builder and you'll see everything's pretty much predetermined here. So we just need to change what's already there. So if I click here and we're changing the over 300 free ideas for your business, you'll see over here that it's the, the here's the text, here's the content. So we can simply change that to what we would like to see. Download the best ideas for business just as an example. Okay, so then I can click here on the next one and you'll see it pops up over here. I'm gonna leave that the same just for the sake of showing you how to do this. And then we have here, enter your email. So by default, we have fields that we can use. And so there's an email field and then there's the submit button. We could also choose if we wanna have their name. We can go ahead and click add on the name and we can click phone number. And then there is the privacy option as well since that's uh, you know very important these days of the privacy rules so I simply just click add on those and then I can change different things if I wanted to change the order that they're in or anything like that I have those options here okay so then the next thing I do is if I want to change this image I can upload a new one again everything's pretty much customizable here it's just a matter of configuring these options the way you like it Okay. So then the last thing is, is we want to actually give them something. So if it's download a certain idea, you can have this tied into email programs like a constant contact, but you could also just choose to give them the link right here on what they call the success page. So if you're not going to send them an email, like this default here says your free information link has been emailed to you, we could actually just say download your free information link here. And then we could make that whole thing a link. So here's the link. So if all we need is to make sure that that link exists. Maybe it's uploaded to your website. Uh, maybe you have it even on a uh, like a Dropbox or something like that. We just need a link that's accessible for them to go ahead and download. So once I have that, we'll just put something in here as a sample. Um, Sample.pdf. So if that was the link, then I could just simply click Add and then it will make that the, the link that it downloads. So once we have that, then there's different options. We have the display rule. So this is where the details, where if we get more specific with our audience that we're gonna do a better job converting leads here, so or converting our traffic to leads. So our options with something like Optin Monster is we can choose whether it's how long they've been on a page or uh, how long they've been on the site as a whole, whether or not they clicked out of something, so we want to pop up a wait, don't forget kind of uh, offer. Um, so there's lots of different options here, and then we could choose the settings, of course, to match that. Now the other thing you can do, which is very valuable, is we could actually do a path. So we could choose whether or not they view a particular page or a certain URL. So for instance, if I wanted to do the home page specifically, I could, anybody who lands on the home page would get this pop up after five seconds. Like that's how this is currently set up. But maybe I want to actually do specific pages um, or how many pages, those types of things. 
Um, in this case, we might do like in our business, we manage CRMs, we do website content, we can do your Facebook ads, pay-per-click ads on Google. So I wouldn't want to make one generic offer to everybody. I actually want to have if somebody visits my CRM page that they get a CRM offer. If somebody visits my pay-per-click page, they're going to get an offer on pay-per-click. So you can see how much more valuable that's going to be to the end user if if you're being more specific to them and not so much a, a nuisance or an inconvenience because really you're trying to serve them instead of trying to serve yourself so that's that's what we're after here so then when I click through on these different options now we have the options of integration so by default you get an email notification of any new leads that come in but there's also quite a few integrations if you have a CRM system that you might be able to connect into based on your subscription level again with opt-in monster so once I have that I want to make sure it's integrated so it automatically goes into my system and sends a follow-up and then we have actual analytics so it connects to your Google Analytics account which will allow you to see well how many visitors have there been how many um, interactions have there been or how many leads have have been generated so that you can get a, a nice nice visual on your dashboard of what that looks like and then lastly we can publish that so Optin Monster in particular, you, there's a couple little pieces of setup code. We can obviously help you with those types of things as well. Um, but just wanted to walk you through setting up a campaign. So hopefully that helps you. If you have any questions, by all means, please reach out to team at balanbrands.com.